Hi, hello everybody, this is the Badger King 73 and welcome back to my um, Napoleon Let's Play where we are playing as France. So I don't really have anything or you know like any announcements I guess. So um, we're just going to jump right, right into it. So last time we were kind of you know um, getting this army going, Napoleon's army going so that we can move forward and invade England. Um, like I was saying last time, um, I really want to get England out of the way, right? They they have a pretty superior navy, um, and, and what they do is they tend to come through and raid our ports, which kind of have, you know, an impact on us economically. So I want, you know, I want them, you know, to essentially just be gone, right? Um, it also provides really good, you know, economic, um, or I guess, you know, um, what am I trying to say? It provides a lot of, I mean, they have a lot of ports and things like that. It provides a lot of wealth. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it provides a lot of wealth as well because it has lots of ports and everything like that, you know, so, um. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're, we're preparing for an inv invasion of, of England with Napoleon's army. Um, but we're also, you know, keeping an eye out for, uh, you know, our eastern borders, so to speak. So we got um, a little bit of an army here. We used this army right here last time to uh, fight off that Russian force that came through. So, um, yeah, we also, looks like we have one of our allies down. I guess they're going to help. I don't quite remember. But yeah, um, we're also bringing, no we're not, we're wanting to, uh, you know, to essentially um, get get as many forces as we can, you know, here at Bavaria, or uh, yeah, Bavaria, Munich, is what I meant to say. Uh, I went ahead and deployed my forces away from, you know, northern Italy and things like that. I'm thinking that if, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking if Austria decides to attack from the south, they'll have to go through Italy first. Um, and if that's the case, then, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that we, you know, having this army right here could possibly, you know, help them out. And, you know, if, if they come through here, you know, they'll be weakened after fighting a battle with Italy. At least, you know, that's the plan. Um, whether or not that will happen, you know, it, it's just, you know, whatever. But, um... Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking will happen. But you know, it's it's a uh, sort of war. Anything can happen, right? So, um, I believe we we're we were on an end turn last time. I don't think there's anything else we can really upgrade. Um, I don't think we have enough money for a lot of things. We could get a gunsmith here if we really really wanted to. Um, actually, let's see. I think uh, merchantmen cost 500 or something, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Let's see. If I had, yeah, I got one coming in this way. Um, let's go. Actually, no, let's not go for one right there. Let's see if we can go for one right here. Nope. Um, see, I was just there, wasn't I? I like to, uh, you know, get a very, very well established trade fleet. Um, in my opinion, trade fleets are pretty important. Mostly because, uh, you know, um, we can't recruit from there, I guess. Or, oh, it's, uh, it's England's, that's why. Alright, um, but yeah, you know, I want to get a fairly, a fairly decent trade fleet, mainly because, you know, I think it's pretty important in terms of trade. You know, this is kind of like something in real life. You know, trading with other nations is really beneficial, right? And having a really decent trade fleet, as a matter of fact, a really powerful trade fleet, really enables us to have a really strong economy. One thing we got to watch out though for is, you know, it tends to lead to, you know, I guess recessions or something like that. Because, if, I mean, like uh, if, if you go to trade, for example, you know, these change in value as the game progresses. You know, so if you concentrate in, say, ivory, what will happen is every once in a while you'll dip into a pretty deep recession. So, it's not really in our best interest to concentrate on any one single, um, you know, trade 
or you know resource but you know more or less try to I guess you know diversify right so go for some ivory you know and then go for some spices um, go for some some sugar you know and, and just you know maybe even some little lower tier things like coffee and things like that or you know just go for what's what's available right so um that's just kind of what I've learned from Napoleon one thing one thing about it is uh you know especially with my Spain Spain campaign you know I uh early on in the game I worked up a really really powerful um trade fleet and you know it it really gave me a very very big economy that allowed me to keep on recruiting troops keep on re you know recruiting um, naval units and things like that and um it's done me really really well so that's why i'm going to try with um you know napoleon here or france you know so yeah i mean let's just kind of see how it goes i mean i'm thinking it should work what i really want to do is just di diversify though okay. you know something that i didn't learn right off the bat with the uh, um, with my Spain campaign, um, and you get like halfway through it, and uh, hold on a minute. So they're going to want a trade agreement. They're going to want no. They're going to offer me a thousand dollars. I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah, you know, diversify. It's like investing. You gotta do, diversify your assets. You know, so when things kind of take a shit, you know, at least you're backed up. Intellectual advance. All right. Um. Go ahead and take a look at our research. So we're going for what is it? Um, classical economics next. Um. <coughs> excuse me. I think. Uh, I don't know. Um. I mean, do we want to go for that next, or uh, you know, I kind of want to go for something, something else, um, maybe something industrial, maybe. Um, I found that fire in advance doesn't always work, so I, I don't really know if I want to go for that. Typically, don't use diamond formation either. What's the logistics do? So plus two percent to replenishment rates in all your regions, plus five percent to army campaign movement range, enables building of a supply depot. Um, that kind of sounds good. Land drainage plus ten to our wealth, minus five upkeep costs for our naval units. So that's kind of a big one as well. Naval units are pretty expensive. Let's go ahead for logistics. It seems a little bit more um, along the lines of what I wanted to do. Having good replenishment rates are really good. All right, so we got three of them in there. Uh, are these? These are spices. I think spices weren't that bad. For, they were at uh, 42. If we can get some ivory, that'd be. I mean, isn't that is that what we got? All right, yeah, we we have ivory. Let's go, let's go for some spices, hopefully, if nobody's there. Looks like we can. Um, did I recruit another one? No, I didn't. I did not. Alright. Let's go for... Alright, actually, first of all, what's this? Dry dock? Let's go ahead and get the dry dock. Um, I don't want to have... Like I said at the beginning of the, you know, the campaign, I don't want to go for, like, really upgrading a whole lot of these ports right off the bat. Um, mostly because I'm worried about England. So let's go ahead and just, yeah, let's upgrade to our dry dock. I think this one was a uh, trading or a commercial port. 
Um, we can upgrade this one to a commercial port. Let's go ahead and get a merchantman trade ship. And, uh, yeah, we're not, don't really want to upgrade any more of that. Um, if we can go through here, do we want to go for a manufactory or gunsmith? So that's why I want minus 3% to our recruitment cost for infantry units in this region. Um, I don't really see myself recruiting a lot of infantry in this region, so let's go for a manufactory. And uh, let's use the rest of our money to recruit some people. Um, let's see. So we have this army. We need to pull him back so we can replenish. Um, we have this guy. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I did not even see him there. Alright, so they managed to kind of push back far into our territory. Um. Oh wow. Okay. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Um. Damn it. I didn't even see them. Okay. So. I don't really. Who will be able to get there first? Will it be. I mean, it could be these guys. They're weakened. I don't think they have any artillery either. So we can try. We can try to reach these guys. I mean, they'll. Pro I mean, most likely move. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of thinking they're going to go for. Uh, what is that? Strasbourg? Um, and if that's the case, that's all right. They'll take it most likely, but we'll be able to reach them next turn and uh, you know take them out. But yeah, I did not not see those guys there. Maybe, maybe you guys did, but uh, I I did not. <laughs> so um, all right, let's go ahead and recruit elsewhere. I suppose go for a Fuchsliers of line there. Um, what do we have in this army? Oh, did we have did we have any cavalry? We had one cavalry unit, so let's go for another. Let's go for some hussards, hussards, and uh, oh, let's go for some Swiss line. I find I find it kind of hard to maintain Swiss line infantry, you know, in my armies because, you know, they're not. You know, I mean, it requires I think like a certain. Um, I don't know. Like a, what is it, like a certain building or something like that? Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. You can only have four of them, though, so. Uh, we only have 211 left, so we're not going to be able to recruit any for uh, Napoleon's army. Um, but yeah, we're just, we just got to see what's going on here. <laughs> I, uh, I did not see these guys. Um, they've managed to push pretty far far in there. They're still in Württemberg, but, um, I mean, they're really close, though. Really close to, uh, Strasbourg. So we had that recruited, construction, everything like that. Alright, let's go ahead and end thy turn. See what happens here. Let's take a, actually, it's Napoleon. So we, I guess we won't be able to. It looks like they have a couple of Austrian armies coming this way. They're gonna push through. All right. So depending on what goes, you might have to actually divert Napoleon's army down south to help aid those guys. I guess if we really wanted to, we can try to get a peace agreement with Great Britain, but the thing is, is peace agreements on here are almost a joke. Because, I mean, no matter how much money you offer them, the funny thing about it... Ooh, we can reinforce. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to decline that because of the stupid things that could possibly happen to my artillery. I mean, vert... <sighs> What I'm afraid of is I'm going to decline the attack 
Austria is going to win against Wurttemberg. They're, they're going to linger around in raid and shit like that. So I'm just going to go for an auto resolve. I'm, looks like they didn't have any kind of hit on our artillery, so that's good. That's one thing I don't like about Napoleon is for some reason it likes to target your artillery in auto resolves and you know you know how artillery is like no matter where you're at it takes a long time to replenish back up you know so all right okay so i kind of expected that to happen you know um as a matter of fact i, I can see them going to war with us pretty soon but uh yeah um all right, let's go f let's go take a look at our so we got another one, another trade ship, maybe, and put them with the spices as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit more recruitment for Napoleon's army. I think we're going to need probably two more artillery. We have eight pounders, and then we have. Uh, what do we have? We have eight pounders, twelve pounders, a couple twelve pounders, and then some more eight pounders. Um, I say let's go for oops, some uh, six pound horse artillery. And then we could go for these guys. Kind of look pretty cool. Um. Let's get a couple of these guys. It takes two turns, but I mean, we're, we're going to have to wait on our artillery anyways. 32, 15, 11, 13. Alright, these guys. Let's go for some, some of these guys as well. Where did it go? Am I only allowed to have... Oh, I can have two. Where did it go? It disappeared. Oh well. Let's go for uh, let's go for some French mariners. Actually, you know what? Let's go for uh, two of those guys. Actually, all right. So we're we're still looking at these guys up here. Um, I'm I'm thinking we can do it. Honestly, I'm thinking, uh, I mean, we have artillery, which is the, you know, it's the big, big deal, you know, it's the big thing. Um, we only have one unit right there. Let's see if we could, um, come on, uh, oh, let's, let's push further into Austrian territory. All right. They have a lot of people right there, actually. Their army. So big their army. Okay, so they're already at a full stack army here. That's crazy. I mean, they don't have a whole lot elsewhere except for over here. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need to uh, get a lot of people, a lot of people here as well. So let's go for some more line infantry. Um, do we have any? Artillery, I, I didn't look. Okay, so we have we have some eight pounders. We're definitely going to need to uh, get some elsewhere. As a matter of fact, I think next turn we need to go through and upgrade. Actually, we might have enough money. So this is relatively close. Let's go for that because Munich definitely needs. Um, it definitely needs to be reinforced. I don't know if Austria is at war with the uh, Ottomans. They are. So hopefully they could, uh, you know, they, yeah, hopefully they can be directed, you know, kind of finding a true two front war. Um, so hopefully these guys could, I don't know, go down that way. Highly doubt it. They'll probably march on on Bavaria. If that's the case, we we really need to get Napoleon's army down here then. But that's after we get our uh, you know our our troops. Um. 
and uh, also, I guess, if, if we do that, then we can push these guys towards Paris, and then start recruiting there. Oh no. Um... These guys look rather... I mean, they have some big guns. Or big, you know what I mean. Big ships. Uh, anyways, what I was talking about with peace treaties. Um, you know, peace treaties are almost a joke because, you know, you go for a peace treaty and, and you offer some money, right? Okay, and they, they accept the peace treaty, but two more turns, you know, one of their allies, you know, incentivizes them to, to go back to war with you by offering them a little bit of money. Then it kind of causes a, uh, like a little bit of a back and forth thing, and then in the end it's not really even worth it. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if I want to go for any peace treaties with these guys. Unless, you know, I really lay the, you know, lay the hurt on them. Like, if I took London, um... Or maybe not took London. Maybe I went, like, kicked their ass in, in a, you know, like a pitch battle or something like that. And maybe I can get peace that would last a little bit, but, um, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and march on these guys. Let's get, let's get them away from us. Hopefully they don't fall back. They're not going to. So let's go ahead and save, just in case there's a crash, and let's go ahead and dive right in. Looks like a relatively dry day. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get these guys in the single formation. Oops. All right. Looks like we have a town over here to our flanks. We could possibly move forward and take this hill. It's a little bit rough though. I think that's what we're going to do actually. Let's go ahead and move forward, kind of take this hill with our, with our line infantry. Let's have our, uh, what are they called, the, the uh, French Irish Legion. Let's go ahead and have these guys kind of on our flanks, just like so, kind of like we did last time. Our Grenadiers, are these guys militia? Yeah. Let's go ahead and have our grenadiers on our left flank. And the militia can just serve as a reserve unit. Our cavalry put them in reserves as well. And then our general kind of behind these trees a little bit. Oops. Did I get it? Alright. Alright, so let's push up on top of this hill with our artillery. And uh, hopefully we can reach it, I guess, in time. Let's put our artillery right there. Let's scoot our main line forwards a little bit. Like so. Kind of protect them. On, on the sides right there. French Irish infantry. Put them on our flanks right up there, just like so. And then our grenaders. Grenadiers. Oh my gosh. Like, I know better than that. Like, my college mascot is is the IUS Grenadiers. And I keep on saying grenade or uh, grenaders. <laughs> like, what is wrong with me? Okay. Let's go ahead and push our cavalry up just a little bit and, uh, yeah, same, uh, same with the, our, uh, militia. Do they have, they do have artillery. Alright, so they have one. I didn't look at it like I was supposed to. What are they? 12 pounders. Alright, so we definitely need to try to get those guys out. 
looks like they managed to take out one of our guys. Or one of our guns. Oh, and another one. Alright. See if we can deploy our cav this way. I kinda wanna see if I can flank around. Two! Oh my gosh, alright. Our men are running! Sir. That that absolutely pisses me off. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put these guys right here. As a matter of fact, actually, yeah. Uh, I just don't want them shooting into this hill. And they just absolutely offed that artillery unit like it was nothing. That is ridiculous. Okay. They weren't so damn slow, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Oh my gosh. That, oh my gosh, that pisses me off. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unlimber right here and see if we can get a few shots on those guys. I don't know if we'll be able to reach or not. I don't know, it won't show us. And we won't. God damn it. Well, we gotta fire back. I mean. That's, that's ridiculous. Alright. We're not going to be able to reach from there, so we're going to have to pull up just a little bit. Alright. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and deploy our grenaders up. Let's try to coax them into coming towards us, I guess. We'll have to do it with our grenadiers, though. Alright. Come on. Lost in an entire artillery unit. I mean, what in the odds are that? Alright. Let's go ahead and deploy our Irish, uh, what are, what's name? What are they called again? Legion. I think I called them Line Infantry last time. Alright, let's deploy these guys forward. Kind of, I don't know, I don't really like that, that hill right there. I like so. Oh well, I guess. Continue to push these guys around. Kind of surround them. We do have some lancers over here this way. That is absolutely ridiculous. How how in the hell could they just do that? <laughs> right off the bat, I mean... Okay. I, I need to forget it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just barely. That is ridiculous. Alright, let's go ahead and just fire right in front of them, I guess. Hopefully we can get some lucky shots. Where did my cab go? They're right there. Alright. What's the line of 
sight here. I mean, it's honestly not that good either. Like, oh well. I guess it's kind of the uh, kind of like the battle of artillery right now. It's kind of barraging each other, trying to get some good hits on these guys. So our, our gr grenadiers are still kind of making their way up through here. Uh, I don't think they. Okay, so uh, looks like these guys are going to deploy. Which way? They're yelling. I mean, they're they're thinking about it. I don't think they know what they're doing. Uh. All right. What do we have? We have militia on on the right. Looks like they're going to change the formations again. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy our grenadiers forward. So what we want to do is we, we kind of want to uh, provide cover, right? So get them focused on this flank over here, then we'll be able to move, move in with our main line and uh, kind of catch them off guard, so to speak, you know? So, I mean, at least that's what my plan is. Get a few more looks. So we reduced them down to three, that's good. How are these guys doing? They're still on three. Deploy these guys. Well, actually, let's wait for the Grenadier. grenadiers. We've exposed some of the units. Looks like. Go and deploy these guys up. Kind of like so, maybe. Hurry up and get shots on these guys. One thing about these Napoleon battles is they kind of take a little bit to, uh, you know, commence. But I mean, that's I guess that's the uh, that's the glory of it, right? Is it's uh, you know kind of like the the old times, you know, and well, I guess in real times as well. But you know, these these things were drawn out, right? I mean, in terms of troop placements and things like that, you know, it really did kind of take its time. So, honestly, it's something that I kind of appreciate, you know, is having that realism aspect of it. But, uh, I uh, still don't want to deploy these guys further. Alright. Try to see these guys off, maybe. Still gonna scoot up a little bit because of the range. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and get our main line forward before we're, I guess, too caught off guard. Alright. Should be able to hit them with another volley. So they have two more guns left. Alright, we should... That should see those guys off. It says they're winning slightly. Alright, our main line is coming up. Coming up over this hill. Oh, they're not... Okay. Wow. Our uh, line of sight right here, it's not that bad. Okay, looks like. Alright, looks like they're gonna start deploying forward, so let's go ahead and push our, uh, our uh, Irish legions forward. Let's get our calves a little bit behind more. Okay, let's take a look at their calves. I don't want to get too overextended. Alright. Alright. Just like so. Still getting our calves. Right. Let's kind of encircle these guys a little bit. Hungarian Fusiliers. Alright, let's kind of halt these guys right there. Don't want to get them too close. Actually, let's just get him right there. These guys closer. Right, they only have one more gun. Well, hopefully, this flank will, will uh, fall. They they have the uh, the upper hand with the hill right here, so we definitely need. It. Let's go ahead and get our general in. I kind of forgot about him. I kind of forgot about my militia as well, but oh well. Alright. Let's move in and take these guys out. Hopefully we don't draw too much attention from these guys. Alright. So let's go ahead. Let's continue to, uh... Kind of circle them a little bit more. Let's go ahead and push these guys forward. Put those guys in reserve, take them off fire at will. Put these guys in square real fast, looks like we're going to get a cap charge. Alright, uh, now's the time to go after that bear artillery. Which means I should tell my artillery to hold fire. Try to snipe out their uh, general, maybe. Without hitting our own guys. Yep. Right, so we did a number on those guys. See if we can chase down their calves. Oh, never mind, never mind. 
I forgot what I was doing. Just continue to go after the artillery. Alright, so uh, these militia are going to come back. Victory, Let's go ahead and face those guys off. Alright, it looks like we're, we're, uh, we might be fighting or shooting to our own, our own guys. Can't even speak. Alright. After those guys right there, take these guys out of square. Just kind of smooth forward and take this ridge or these hills right here. How are they doing? Looks like they're winning somehow, slightly. Just want to continue to uh, kind of run these guys down. Oh, they're all fire at will. That's why they're just over here taking taking shots. I guess nothing. All right. There they go. <coughs> Excuse me again. All right, let's go ahead and deploy these guys forwards. Pretty much got the battle won. And uh, let's, let's continue. Kind of want to run these guys down. Go after those guys. those guys running. Uh, actually, let's deploy them back a little bit. Let's try to take this hill. So to speak, get our, uh, get our first volley, maybe. Should probably uh, tell my artillery to limber up. There we go. Two shots. Right. Did a fairly decent number on those guys. Let's run them down with our cav. Alright. Alright, so I wasn't expecting those guys to be kind of so far, um, I guess, in allied territory. They weren't in our territory, they were in their, their territory, but hopefully this should see them off. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to chase them down maybe a little bit. I highly doubt it, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and fast forward. They're at 60, 59, all right, let's kind of pull these guys back, let them escape a scuffle. Uh, how much longer they got? They don't got that much longer. <coughs> so I guess I could just end the battle, but I, I don't know, I have kind of like this uh, weird paranoia when it comes to that, so. Like, I don't know if it skews your results a little bit, but... Oh no, it's just me being me, I guess. All right, we lost 606. They lost 1,648, so they only have 562 left. Looks like they're going to pull back into our territory a little bit. Uh, I think we should. Oh, we're not going to be able to. All right, it's fine. Looks like we're just going to have to chase these guys down then. The Battle of Wurttemberg. Oh no, the Battle of 
Bisqua Vineyards. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bis Bisque Bisque Bisqua? I think I don't know, I don't speak French, dude. Alright, um we, we got all of our money spent pretty much. We're not gonna be able to recruit anymore. We got have some coming. It's gonna take a couple of turns. What we're gonna do is we're going to take this army and we're going to deploy it to Paris. We're going to get Napoleon's army and we're going to deploy it down towards Munich. Because this army is barely I mean, they, they have a shit ton of cav, probably a shit ton of artillery, so it's something that we really, really need to play, play, pay close attention to. Hopefully they don't decide to deploy towards us. Um, if they decide to, I don't know. They, I mean, it might take them a little bit to reach us, but... Yeah, um... <coughs> I'm still a little bit... Still a little bit, uh, I guess, under the weather. Let's take a look at our economy. It's not doing too bad. Still need to get more merchant ships and things like that. Kind of putting them down there. Don't really want to take them over here because, I mean, obviously that's English territory. So, yeah. Um, is there? Is it possible that we could maybe deploy these guys? I think. Actually, I think that's what we were wanting to do. Last time. Because if these guys do push forward and if they're able to take Munich, um, I mean, I'm confident that Napoleon's army will be able to push them out, but, you know, I kind of want to do as much damage as we can if that comes down to it. So, um, we could, could recruit, I guess, but I wonder how our, our, it looks like we need to do roads down here, even down there. I told myself I wasn't going to do it because, I mean, we're not really too involved down in these regions, but how about these guys? Okay, Munich definitely needs it. We can upgrade here if we wanted to. And uh, Paris, we should probably do Paris, honestly. Right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Wonder if uh, Precious going? Nope, maybe not. Well, it actually, doesn't tell you until uh, it doesn't tell you until um, until after all the turns have ended, if I remember correctly. I wonder if they declared war on me this turn. I didn't really pay attention to it. I guess. Ah, oh, hey, was that it? I oh, don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the map. Uh, did Wurttemberg come in and do my dirty work? Right. My pass has been blocked by someone. All right, looks like looks like they did. So that's good. Um. So I think. Uh. They didn't go anywhere. They have an army right here, and just some artillery, and we got one unit right there. I'm kind of tempted to go in here and take Innsbruck real fast, and then probably come back. We should pro I mean, we'll, I think we'll, we'll be able to get them to, oh, we won't be able to get them to surrender. Alright, it's fine. Let's go, let's just go ahead and continue the uh, siege. 
Uh, all right. You know, honestly, we can probably get him to come up here, but let's see. We need one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need eleven more units. How many do we have coming our way? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six more units coming our way. I'm thinking that we could hand some units over. Um, still gotta wait a little bit. Wait one more turn before we are able to um, recruit or move move Napoleon's army. So, um, what, what do we? want to do I mean I don't really want to go in this turn and attack these guys I'm kind of my time is about up so just kind of trying to get a little bit of an idea of what we need to do I mean we really need to keep Munich um, defended right so and I think right now the best way to do is, is to uh, you know deploy Napoleon's army over here Mostly because we're, we're not able to recruit, you know, a lot of the units that we want in higher quantities, right? So, to me, I think it's a little bit worth it to uh, go ahead and get what we want with Napoleon's army. Kind of defend Munich. As a matter of fact, maybe even go in and uh, kind of wreak havoc in these areas, you know? And um, recruit an army up here to move in and start taking London and things like that. So, I guess that's my plan. Um, but yeah, so that kind of wraps it up for this episode, guys. I know, or I don't know, I don't, I don't know how long this episode lasted, but um, yeah, I mean that's kind of my plan, right? I, I think, I think that's more important for us to move in and defend Munich, you know, to the best we can. We're going to go in and take Innsbruck, you know, just kind of. So that we can, you know, kind of get an, an idea of what's going on down here. See if they're seeing if they're going to, you know, deploy an army through here and attack us, you know, from the south. Um, again, just holding these guys back, hoping that if Austria does decide to send an army down through here and attack our, you know, lower regions, they'll have to go through Italy first, you know, and we'll be able to be there to help them out. If I mean, if the time comes. But, yeah. Looks like Prussia isn't going to declare war on me yet. They don't have, I guess, really that much. I mean, I don't see any armies, so I, I'm not too worried about it yet. If you take a look at our, our diplomacy, I mean, they're still unfriendly. They're not hostile towards us yet. But yeah, anyways, that, that's uh, that's the plan right now, guys. Um, just really, really gotta defend Munich, and we really need to invade um, England. You know, those are my two main priorities with this campaign. You know, and and in my opinion, once we take the, you know, once we take England, you know, Scotland, Ireland, everything like that. Um, we should be able to get a lot of wealth from the ports. We should be able to kind of gain really complete naval superiority. And uh, we'll be able to focus on mainland Europe. So that's the uh, that's the plan. And, of course, Munich is important because it's kind of a gateway into our, um, you know, homeland, so to speak. So, yeah, we that's the, uh, that's, that's the plan, right? So um, with that being said... I uh, just want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching, you know, till the end. Um, it's all really appreciated, guys. Please, please feel free to, you know, dislike the video, leave any type of constructive criticisms or anything like criticisms, criticism, you know, and things like that. Um, <laughs> again, guys, you know I can't talk. But, yeah, and, uh, you know, feel free to leave a like, um, subscribe, um, leave any, you know, if you see me, you know, playing and things like that, and you want to like, put forth, like, a strategy or anything like that, feel free to do so, you know? I'm kind of curious. As a matter of fact, you know, I don't know if I said this enough or if I've even said it 
with that being said, you know, I uh, you know, I really kind of got on here because I wanted the interaction with the Total War community, right? So it's a, uh, it, you know, it's really appreciated, and it's, you know, honestly, really um, like I look forward to it, right? Like I look forward to seeing comments. So yeah, um, but with that, you know, with that being said, I don't really have anything else to say, so. I guess I'll talk to you guys later.